what is going on draw two crew Bramley here with a brand new drawing tutorial for you guys and today we are going to be drawing the Decepticons logo since we just did Megatron so let's go ahead and get started I've got my paper in portrait mode for this although it doesn't really matter how you want yours laid out okay now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line going down the center again because it's going to be uh, a mirror image of the uh, one side to the other okay there you go so First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find this V shape right here. And pretty much every single line that I'm going to draw, I'm going to like create two lines. So I'm just going to keep that in mind every time I draw these. Okay. But um, for now, we'll treat them as like one, one, one line and then we'll worry about the rest later. Okay. So there's that. And then I'm going to draw two lines going straight up and that's going to be uh, slowly spreading apart. So it's wider at the top than it is at the bottom. Okay, there you go. So again, double up on these lines right here. This is a fairly easy tutorial. Doesn't take very long to do really. All you have to make sure is that, you know, this side and this side, you wanna make sure that it is all symmetrical. That is the most important thing. Okay, inside I'm going to draw a triangle, starting with a point right around here. Coming out like that, flat, and there you go. Okay, now just above this, so think a little bit up at the top here and then go this way and this way. This is kind of my guideline where I want the top of the, the logo to be. And I'm going to draw two lines that are again, go upwards. Okay. Straight. Then, well, you know what? We'll worry about these two points right here for now because we want to make uh, around the right, uh, right proportions first. Okay, so let's worry about that point later on. Let me just uh, re-emphasize that line and this line, and there we go. Okay, now this is a good point, and this right here as well to start kind of building our uh, Decepticon face. And it's gonna go like this and like this. So you, I'm just doing it as slowly as I can. Uh, if you guys need to turn it upside down just to be able to see it a little bit more clearly, uh, I have found, and some people as well, that if you draw something upside down, it'll uh, help your brain to look at the shapes of the uh, uh, look at the shapes and lines as opposed to looking at the overall image. So if you turn it upside down, it gives you a different perspective on your drawing. So I'm just going to keep going, even a little bit more than I need to. But yeah, you want to make sure that they're about the same angle, going down. Bring it back up like this and there you have it okay now think of creating two lines like this so this spot right here and this spot right here is where uh, i'm going to bookmark because it's going to come down to a triangle going down to about I'm trying to think of a right there okay so it's about the size of the uh antenna here at the top or whatever you want to call this so this about that size going down doesn't have to be super exact but I'm going to create this V shape now and I'm doing this all freehand something that I've practiced uh, all my life is to draw straight lines without uh, without a ruler but if you guys feel like you need a ruler definitely uh, use one okay now, again, like I did before, I'm going to double up on that line and here as well. And one way to get better lines is if you twist your paper so that your, your wrist isn't, you know, overly stressed. Okay. So now again, you want something that's about parallel to this top line here. So this way, like that, and same thing over here. 
There you go. That's about right. Hey guys, this video right here is brought to you by these awesome Patreon patrons. If you are interested in knowing more about how to support this channel through Patreon, check out the link down below, patreon.com slash draw it to for more details. Anyway, let's uh, cut to commercial and then let's get back to business. You see how I have it right here? Now I'm finding that this point right here should be about the same level. So I apologize, you guys, I'm gonna bring it up uh, one notch up. It, like this point should be on the same level as the lines uh, at the bottom. So there you go. My apologies, you guys. And a lot of you guys get frustrated when they make mistakes here. So that's part of, um, I think that's part of the art is making mistakes. So I'm not really too apologetic about it. And you guys shouldn't be either. If you guys make mistakes, it's fine. Uh, just forgive yourself and move on. What I'm doing now is I'm making this a little bit more angular just for the effect. Like it's, it's not really that big of a deal. Like it was fine the way it was, but I just want to create a little bit more angle. And there you go. So there's the basic shape for uh, the Decepticon logo. And I believe it is Soundwave. Is this Soundwave's face? I don't remember. Anyway. Find a point down here, okay, just below this point, and then I'm gonna draw a line to this point right here. Okay, same thing over here, like that. There you go, and then now we have the um, placement for the eyes. So, goes like this. Okay, you wanna make sure that they're, again, parallel to each other. And find a spot right around here and here. There and there. And then just make sure that they're even. There you go. Okay. From this point. I'm going to draw a line to this part of the eye right here. So it kind of looks like that. So from here to about here. What we're going to do is we're going to draw two lines there and at this point right here. Okay, and then I'm going to create just these, um, the gap. So it looks like this. Okay, so you want to make sure that it's parallel to this top line here. And you want to do the same thing over here. Let's start over here. There you go. And then this one. And we are almost done, you guys. So right here, we're going to continue this line going up. And then we're going to find a point right about here. Okay, continue this line. And then right about the same spot. There you go. Okay, and then, like I said earlier, I was gonna leave this for last because it's a good idea to move it up slightly. Not as high as these two, but just about that much. And there you go. Erase all of the trimmings, all of the little guidelines that we have. Almost done, you guys and gals, let me know if you guys and girls watch the old cartoon as well. I'd love to know what you guys think of it. Okay, there you go. And then just fixing it up right here. And then you guys, the last thing is we're going to create another outline. So that goes around. Okay, and then when you reach these points right here, what you do is you draw a straight line across and you bring it down. Okay, the tops of those should be these straight lines. Like that.
and there you go. And that is it, you guys. That is the Decepticons logo. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you did. And until next time, take care. And you guys, that is all the time that we have for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in all the way to the very end. I appreciate that a lot. If you guys are proud of your drawings, I would love to see them. So head on over to Instagram, tag me at draw to so I can see your masterpieces. If you guys are ever curious about the tools that I use for drawing or the equipment that I use to make these videos, I have links in the description of this video. So make sure you guys check that out. If you are feeling extra generous, I have links down in the description as well for different ways that you can show your support on this channel. I already mentioned Patreon, but there are other ways as well. So be sure to check those out. Links in the description. Your contributions go a long way in ensuring that I can continue making videos just like this for you guys to enjoy free of charge. Again, if you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video right here, comment down below and share this with your friends in your social media. And speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Instagram, on Facebook, and of course on my website, draw2.com, where you can find a free coloring page based on the tutorial drawing that is found in this video. Again, you guys, all of the links to those are found in the description of this video, so be sure to check that out. Finally, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw it too. I'll see you guys next time.